Welcome back everybody to Bat Kerm the Unknown. I'm your host, Bat Kerm. And today, we just got some mail. So let's open it up and see what so, we got. First and foremost, we have a limited run game box. Surprise, surprise. This one's actually not damaged, but I do like the new design of their boxes. I don't know if you can take a look at that and see. Ooh, we got some goodies in here. But yeah, they have some cool stuff and on the side, forever physical, forever physical, all that fun stuff. So not a lot to package in here, but we have a PlayStation 4 or a PlayStation Vita display stand. So you gotta, gotta put it together by yourself. I've broken one of the two of these in the past trying to put it together. They're not great, but they're the cheapest and easiest solution for displaying collector edition games or um, kind of like uh, steelbook cases. So this is how I display a lot of my steelbooks. And then of course some packing material and then don't need that anymore. And then, Cool, Space Channel 5 VR, kind of funky new flash. Um, I have never played the original Space Channel. Um, so I'm excited to play this and see how it goes. It's from Sega, so it's got a good reputation and I'm always looking for any VR game that I can get my hands on, whether it's limited or not, especially if it's limited, but I'm a sucker for all the VR games that come through there, except for like the train simulator. I didn't get that one, but that was super expensive. And the cool part is any, um, limited run game that you get that's from them or that's numbered. If you notice that, you know, if it's numbered, it's gonna have like some sort of number system right there. But they also give you a card. So usually there's two cards for a type of game um, and they're all numbered as well. So if you look here, this is the Space Channel card. Looks pretty cool. And then on the back, they also have their new design, which looks kind of 70s, but I think that's pretty cool. They just renumbered and restarted from zero to or restarted number one. But I think that's pretty cool. So if you guys have played this game before, um, let me know what you think, because I'm excited to get started. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, and surprise again, we have another limited run box. So I love these boxes, how they have their design on the sides. Um, I did take my address off so you guys can't see that, sorry. But one of the things I'm already concerned, the only thing was I cut open the tape and I took off the, the shipping label, but I'm kind of nervous to open this one. I haven't even looked inside yet, but I love how it's damaged on that side. I don't love it, but it's interesting. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Usually they do have some good bubble wrap in here, and they do. Look at that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a good one. They did a good job taping it. Okay. All right, so let's take all this stuff out, and we'll go through it. Don't need that anymore. And it, uh, yeah, dang it. So the first thing, I think it's the only thing that's damaged. That's frustrating. But I get games to play. I don't get them to, you know, keep in perfect condition or keep them sealed. So it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of disappointing. So I got the collector's edition of Ease Origin. So I've always heard everyone talk about Ease 8 and Ease Origin, all the Ease games, but I've never played them. I've played, you know, the Final Fantasies up through Final Fantasy X, and I've dabbled in the other ones here and there, like 13, and I didn't get that one. Um, I got it, but I didn't, it didn't suck me in like all the others. Um, so I figured I'd dabble and start testing the waters with the E series. So I saw this collector's edition. I know they had it for um, PlayStation 4 and the Vita back in the day. I kind of missed out on that, so I wanted to kind of see what it was like on here. It's just kind of disappointing that the box, you got some damage here, you got some damage up in the corner. That's kind of frustrating. Um, but like I said, I got it to play, so I can always display it on this side. So, you know, no damage there. It's not even the end of the world there. I can just push out the cardboard. So it's not bad. I'm excited about that. And of course, I've been low on Nintendo Switch stands. So, um, I have uh, a bunch of collector's editions where you get Nintendo Switch steel cases, and I have broken a few in the past. So these will replace those. Um, and again, they're pretty cheap, and they're a good alternative to displaying those limited and collected uh, collector's editions um, steel book cases. So, and they look pretty cool on display. I have a few, we'll do a room tour at some point, but they look really good. Um, so I'm glad about those, or happy about those. And we have Star Wars Episode One Racer. Um, this is limited run, release number 77. So as I said, they're kind of on 
as of recording this, they just released Scott Pilgrim uh, versus the World, uh, the complete edition. So that's number 94. So to kind of get an idea of where we're at, I guess this shipped late with the Ease Origin. I don't know how long it took to make this, but usually when you get a collector edition, it takes a little bit longer to ship. So anything that you have in the order, it's going to wait for the last item and ship everything together. So I got this. It may have been ready earlier. I can't say. But uh, if they're already selling uh, number 94 and I'm just getting number 77, think of that kind of where you're at. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to play this. I played this as a kid. Um, I got the collector's editions when they released them for... Um, N64 and they released some of the older Star Wars games. So I got them on um, the card backs. They look really cool. Maybe we can do an episode on those later on. Um, and again, this came with uh, a card from them. And this is number 95. And if I remember correctly, that's Sebulba's Pod Racer. So that's pretty sweet. And there's the, the back shot of that. All right. Cool. Happy about that. All right, everybody. So one of the, uh, the other leading places that I get a lot of my action figures from is Entertainment Earth right here. So they're usually pretty good. The box is actually in good condition. So I'm hoping whatever I ordered is still good. Um, the only thing, again, with them I don't like is they take a little bit of time to get here. So this I ordered. Uh, here's, here's the order number. Um, it's been a while. So I'm actually waiting on another thing for them to ship. But... Don't need that. Oh, goodness. I've been waiting on this one. So, I am very excited to finally debut Darth Vader from Rogue One. Um, anyone that hasn't seen Rogue One, spoiler alert, Darth Vader makes an appearance. Um, and the final scene with him is so badass. Absolutely love it. Um, and the way how they highlighted his helmet and the mask, he had almost like a reddish tint to the, the eye, eye goggles or whatever you want to call them. And they kind of captured it with this figure. So for this, they actually have a brand new card back. Um, I know some people were upset because they gave him a cape and then they gave him some plastic portions of a cape in front. I actually don't mind it. I think he looks pretty good. Uh, if you read the comics or know the lore around Darth Vader, something that I didn't even realize was a thing until I started collecting and really looking at the figures with the Black Series, Darth Vader's costume changes throughout the series, especially the original three. So A New Hope, or I guess episode four, five, and six, the, the first ones that came out. So his costume is different from A New Hope to Empire Strikes Back. So I didn't even realize it, but if you look at the buttons on, on kind of his chest panel, they change. So they're more similar to this. And then if you look at uh, Empire Strikes Back, they're a little bit different as well. Um, so again, just the little things about collecting like that, that I they really sucked me in. Um, so I was excited to, once I saw they were releasing a new Darth Vader, I haven't had a Darth Vader since I was a kid with the Power of the Force collection. For those that don't know, Power of the Force is... You know, they jacked everybody up and made him look all muscular. Um, so even Luke Skywalker, it looks like he's been all roided up and he's been working out pretty good on, on the moisture farm. You know, his shirt's open and, you know, he's got the pecs that are massive uh, and, and biceps. That's that's not how Luke looked in the movie, but it's something that, you know, they did to kind of reissue the figures. So the only Darth Vader that I really, really remember playing with as a kid was that one. And he had just a black handled lightsaber. So when I saw this Darth Vader come out, he's got a lot of articulation, really good figure. Um, and I love how the, the eye goggles are, are, are a reddish tint. I don't know if you're able to pick that up on there. Um, but I figured, why not give it a shot? And these, they're actually reasonably priced for what you're getting. Um, and I love the movie Rogue One, so I'm very happy to add this to the collection. All right, guys, so this was my unboxing haul. Um, I'm really excited to start playing some of these games. I know this one I played back in the day on N64. Still got it for N64, but I'm really excited to have it on the go and be able to play it on the go on the Switch. Um, Ease Origins, let me know how that game is. Did you guys play this? Did you guys like it? Um, I'm excited to see how how it is and, and kind of go from there. Um, and has anyone played the Space Channel VR game yet? I'm excited to kind of see how that is in VR, and I've never played the original Space Channel. So let me know what you think, and who here loved Darth Vader in Rogue One, especially that last scene. That that last scene just makes him so badass. Um, 
it, it kind of raised my love of Darth Vader up even more. And this figure, it 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 kind of represents all that badassness that he showed in that last scene. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like Star Wars? Do you guys like Ease? Have you guys played any of these other games? Um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more content coming soon. Bat Kerm out.